Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercard, episode number 71. I am your host, Fireproof, and uh, this week is Ring Domination. We have heard rumors that it is Alberto Del Rio. I'll be totally honest with you. Not gonna go for Alberto Del Rio. Just for the fact that I am not going to support a man that sues the WWE for racism and racist remarks towards the man, sues the WWE for that and for that uh, 30 day no compete clause, which was kind of retarded anyway, because this man's a wrestler, blah blah blah. He makes a living at doing what he loves to do, and that's wrestle. WWE is wrong for that, but that's going off topic. Like I said, I am not a. Go I'm not going to go for the event card. I will go for the legendary. Hopefully, it's a pro. But I do not support the the Alberto Del Rio thing. We are in our King of the Ring. We are. We have won that round. We are twenty. Uh, 28 and 9 because the ones I've lost are like I forgot to energize or I've been sleeping so and we are currently standings we are currently third not bad because uh, uh, I desperately need a a pro I'm still in the search for that legendary pro. Everybody's gotten pros. I still use epics. <laughs> but we are going to play. We are going to get some energies for the King of the Ring. We're going to go face the best. But yes, I do not support the Alberto Del Rio thing. I think it's a disgrace of what they did. To the Mexican and the American flag. Gimmick or not, it, it's just wrong. And that is my beliefs on that. But like I said, I don't I don't support a guy that turns around sues WWE for being for a guy being racist to Alberto Del Rio and then I'm not doing anything other than for letting Alberto Del Rio go for triple to triple A and Lucha Underground, which he was a lot better down there. But that's here nor there. I just I just think it's a crack of bull. And it's, uh, he's just a hypocrite. Oh, but everybody goes, oh, you gotta go where the money is. Well, I'm sorry. If the, if the company that I worked for was racist towards me, I ain't going back no matter how much money was given to me. Oh, this many zero? No, you're racist. Go, go on. Get out of here. But that is my belief. What they need. The day the WWE stops being a racist company is the day that the, a, a black man becomes champion. And don't give me this crock of bull that, oh, it's uh, The Rock, he was the first black champion in the WWE. No, he was not. Maybe he is half black, but he debuted as a Samoan. Big difference. Big loophole. Oh, 
Oh, Ron Simmons? What? No, Ron Simmons was the first WCW champion. But Archer, Archer was the first NWA. Bobby Lashley was the first TNA. Uh, and I think Bobby Lashley was the first... No, 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 no. I could be wrong. He might have been the first... Uh, ECW... No, 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 no. That was too cold Scorpio, I think. For the ECW. But you get the picture. It's just stuff like that that really hits a nerve. And but yeah, if I if I display my uh, opinion toward that, I'm the bad guy. It was just like a, it was just like a post on Facebook the other day. Uh, this one person posted a little kid, uh, their little kid. Dressed up as it happened to be John Cena. I thought it would be funny because she said guess, and uh, I was just guessing, goofing off. I said Flavor Flay because he had he had the chain around his neck and brass knuckles. I was wrong. I was just goofing off, having fun, and I got targeted as the bad guy. People need to stop taking stuff so seriously and, and, and out of contact. And as if that's what the world is going to, we're all screwed. But as as bad as racist that the WWE is, and I know they hide it, they hide it well, sometimes, except for the Mexicals and uh, the, the New Day, which uh, bad gimmick they actually are making that one work. Uh, I'm actually surprised they actually have not come out with a KKK tag team just thinking it's funny because we know the Mexicals were stereotyped as a Mexican uh, lawn care workers like uh, hell they came out for the freaking to on uh, John Deere tractors like gardeners. The New Day is a stereotyped religious church group that I don't. I don't think it's funny, but it, but the way they are doing it by what they're doing is funny because they're making it work. I'm actually surprised they just don't have a group of white guys in white robes. Cause that is what the WWE is is the way they're going lately, and they're just not trying. They're just they're really not trying anymore. Vince McMahon is now his worst enemy from back in the Monday Night War era. He is Ted Turner. But the only difference between Vince McMahon and Ted Turner is Vince ain't going to sell WWE. It'll stay in the family business, but it, he ain't going to sell WWE. But yet, we still have the options of Lucha Underground, TNA, New Japan on YouTube. Uh, my favorite now is 2CW, but I... It, that's only like it's not even on YouTube uh, PWG is good um what other there, there, there's a whole bunch of ROH even though half of your characters are going to WWE or TNA which uh
rumors were yesterday that the Young Bucks and AJ Styles are in the era in uh, ROH now. Young uh, uh, AJ is going to go for the World Heavyweight Title. And yes, if you do Google it, it, it he has passed uh, Flair's record, but since it's like the indie companies, they won't probably acknowledge it. Um, but the Young Bucks have signed exclusive with ROH. They won't do any more PWG. I don't think they'll do 2CW, but yeah, 2CW is affiliated with ROH, so they might. And it's not televised, so they might. They might still stay in Japan. I don't know. I know Japan, New Japan and all of them do have promotional stuff, so I don't know. And getting back on the topic of the ring domination, who do you think are going what do you think the cards are going to be? Like I've been saying, I hope that the legendary they have under the legendary is a pro that I can pro or I, I to me possibly Bray Wyatt because I can at the end of the month I can pro him and I think they need to get rid of PCC because it just sucks and yes I am rambling and I am going off but at least I'm still playing which is normally I'm just rambling and not playing much. But like I said, I just I don't support I don't support a hypocrite that leaves and sues the WWE just to come back like nothing happened. Oh, but it's the zero it, 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 it's it's the money. You got to go where the money is. Uh, you it's how many zeros you got. I'm sorry. I don't feel that way. At least earn. And, he, and he's the United States champion. At least earn it. He didn't earn it. Cena laid down. Sorry to say, but... Cena pulled a Brock Lesnar when Brock Lesnar just gave up against Goldberg at WrestleMania. Another thing that irks me is we all knew that the Divas match was going to, the four-way Divas match from last night was going to happen, and oh, we all knew that Paige was going to win that. And everybody says, oh, Brie mode, or Brie has the, it is a good wrestler. Last night just proved that all she knows how to do is do Daniel Bryan's little yes kicks. And she don't even do that well. Actually, I don't think she did anything in that company well. That, that song that she has is horrible. Uh... Her moveset is horrible. Her attire is horrible. She just plainly sucks. Daniel Bryan got to the point where she, when he was actually training her, and this is my opinion, this is not fact, that he just plainly gave up. And Nikki has improved. I may, I may I complain about Marie sucking, but she's even better. Brie. Jojo that hasn't wrestled in how long? It's probably better than Brie. This will be our last match. Hopefully it'll continue through. Because I think we're already in what? 14 something? 